Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. And uh, yeah, let's get into this reading and see what messages are playing out for you. All right, so you're starting with, okay, there is some separation happening here. Um, someone is sad, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, Virgo or unsure of a future or what kind of future you guys can have. All right, let's take a look and see. Um, there is some type of separation from someone and yeah, there's somebody, I feel like some, yeah, somebody's thinking about you, of course, Virgo. Separation could be you going through a divorce or just you and another person or you and your, your other half, the yin to your yang are not in um, and not together at this time let's take a look and see what's going on okay yeah so the seven of swords hmm so there's a running away or slipping away or somebody went to jail taken away we're dealing with a court issue okay oh yeah Definitely. We've got two scales. Scales, scales. Could be a Libra energy. Um, somebody could have... I feel like there's a, a some kind of verdict of some sort that's causing separation in the month of May between you and your person. Okay. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> Oh, okay. They just told me also that there is someone who thinks you're sneaking around or that you are breadcrumbing them. They're trying to find out the truth. Oh, now it's getting juicy, Virgo. <laughs> now we're getting some juice here. What's the juice? Yes. Okay. If you are separated from someone, like you guys are just not together, somebody's definitely sitting here like wondering what the hell is going on they're unsure of a future or like where things are going to go with you and them they, they they just they think you're like being sneaky or that you're breadcrumbing giving a little to them giving a little to somebody else and i feel like they're kind of sneaking around looking to find out what the truth is what the heck yeah um that came through so strong. Took a minute, right? My my spirit guides are like, yeah, just you go ahead. You figure it out. We'll let you know when you're on to something. So, okay, Virgo. Even if, like, I don't know if you are. I don't know what you're doing. Um, you might not be doing anything, but this is the energy I'm picking up that this person is, like, they're suspicious. Oh, wow. The Hierophant. So that's Taurus energy here. Or if you're committing to someone else, or you're going to marry somebody else. What the heck? Okay, let me see. Give me a little clarity for justice. Oh yeah, they think you're blocking or you're hiding something. Show me the Hierophant. Okay. Wow, the Empress. Hmm. This person is worried. Because... This person has you on somewhat of a pedestal, or they just see that you are, they're saying, like, the Empress is the most beautiful, the most handsome, you know what I mean, the aesthetic. This person, I don't know why they think the worst, but it feels like you're just so amazing and so perfect and so, you know, whatever, whatever your traits, whatever your qualities, um, this person, and then I was saying pedestal, right? And here's my pedestal card. That I always look at that like a trophy. That you are just so amazing that anybody would swoop you up. Or you would be so easily inclined to just take any offer. Because you're, anybody would throw themselves at you. Okay? And... Obviously, this person does not know Virgo very well because Virgos are not like that um, at all, <laughs> you know, but they view 
you that way. And they, th I don't know if they, they're thinking the worst, but here is the Eight of Cups. So, yeah. This person thinks that you, you're you abandoning them. What the heck? Or that you've abandoned them for someone better? Um, perhaps another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or this is who they are. Okay. So, what does this person want from Virgo? I mean, obviously, it looks like they're really sad. They're thinking about you. They're missing you. Like, they want to be with you. But they don't know... I don't know if you're blocking them or they can't see you. They can't see what you're doing. So they they've got like I feel like they're trying to fill in these gaps in their mind of what's going on. Now just remember these roles can be reversed and Virgo this could be you. But we're mainly talking about this person. So let's see why is this person Virgo's person coming across this way? Like what is the Oh my gosh, the 6 of cups. So Man, they're so sweet on you, Virgo, because they're just sweet on you. They want you to talk to them. Could be an air sign. But they want you to communicate with them, to tell them the truth, to inform them, which is what the Queen of Swords does. The Queen of Swords is an informant, intellectual, honest, candid, truthful. But are they going to ask Virgo? I don't think so. No. So I don't feel like this person's a really big communicator. I don't feel like they're going to ask. If anything, they're going to... Try to win you over with some type of gift or... Um, that's maybe they'll ask later, but I feel like they're going to offer up some kind of an opportunity um, so that it won't end, so that this won't end, or so that it's not fully going to end or be over with. Scorpio energy here. Well, and then they'll talk, right? That's what I was saying. And then they'll have that conversation with you. Two aces. But they're going to, I feel... There's an energy of try to offer you something. Hey, do you want to go out to dinner? Do you want to go talk or have a coffee? Or, you know, can I pay for something for you? They try to engage you to find out, like, you know, if you're with somebody else or you're seeing somebody else or what you're doing. Who knows? What is Virgo doing? Let's take a look. What is Vir What is the truth about what Virgo is doing? So any of you cross watchers who are looking to find out some truth here, let's take a look. <laughs> well, <laughs> Virgo, what are you doing? Um, Virgo's like, nothing. I'm home. Uh, I'm home doing my own thing. <laughs> Virgo's like, <laughs> I'm imagining things. I'm Virgo. <laughs> you know, either that's a tool or, or a tool, it, you know, masculine or feminine. But Virgo's like... <laughs> taking care of their own business themselves, okay? <laughs> so in other words, Virgo's enjoying their own passions, not anybody else's. That's what I feel like is going on here. Yeah, especially at night. Hey, Virgo, do you see where this reading's going already? It's going there. We're going there, Virgo. <laughs> at night, Virgo's in dreamland, okay? Dreaming about who? King of Cups. Ooh, this is getting dirty. Virgo's dreaming about this emotional sweetness from the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this, or just the energy of the sweetness of this person, the watery softness, uh, the sleight of hand, the, um, the mysterious, um, just the very, I always feel like water signs, depending on placement generally as a rule can be very mild and yes but look secret oh so many secrets so virgo doesn't look to me like you're i mean you could be with somebody else i mean i just don't know um but they're telling me the main thing 
the main thing what is the main thing the main thing is that <clears throat> you're taking care of business by yourself i don't see anything here that says you know messing around or cheating except maybe with yourself and even with the high priestess you know you could be dreaming about a pisces or a cancer but there is this I don't know where going. Why do we need to know this? This is TMI. Why do why do I need to know this to tell you, Virgo? I don't know. Okay, maybe for clarification. Oh. <laughs> it's going that way. Okay. Some of you are just you know playing with the the um yeah playing with your pentacles. I don't know. Maybe you're playing with your pentacles. I don't know what you're doing here. Um, very mild up and down energy. Okay. So I don't, I'm not diving any more into that because I feel like if you want to say it's you, go for it. I don't know here. All right. Let's take a look and see. So this person is going to try to talk to you. They might even say something very, um, sexual towards you here with this pentacle, right? However, let's take a look and see like an outcome of this because I do feel like they're going to try to find out something or they want to, they just, I don't know, they think you're with somebody else. All right, Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. So it could be a water, it could be a fire sign, but this is the outcome. I see two people getting together, being together. There's the Emperor. Oh, okay, so they're saying, let's take a look at it this way. Oh, okay. So, Virgo, pretty much the energy I'm picking up here is that somebody's... All right, so we did that twin flame reading the other day. Somebody's going to ignore an elder. I'm telling you right now. Um, remember I said in, that, I think it was that reading that there was a person, maybe was it yesterday's reading? I can't remember. I think it was a twin flame, um, that there was a person who had a heavy authoritative influence over them that was dictating to them, um, something along the lines of not being able to be with you for whatever differences there were. Look how the king of wands has their back to the emperor. I mean, this person is very much adapted some traits of this emperor energy um, but i do feel like this might have been like a parental figure more than anything or someone that was involved in a parental situation with children um i feel like the king of wands is putting their back to the emperor here okay so it's like turning their back to them and you're showing up here as the queen of cups and you can reverse the roles here or the masculine or feminine um the queen of cups looks like Queen of Cups is waiting for things to start moving. Queen of Cups is very patient, waiting for things to start moving, waiting for this person to come forward. Queen of Cups is representing you to me, is waiting for basically Virgo, waiting for their person to come and like take the lid off of this chalice here so they can feel something real which is what the eight of wands is that's real uh, like a ton of different ones a lot <laughs> you know, know what i mean yeah queen of cups wants to feel those wands um from the other person okay um or have a lot of this kind of i can't describe how i'm seeing it here but it's like a lot, let me just say, like, a lot of action. Once the action, once a lot of action here, one after the other after the other. You know what I mean? Like, movement. Um, okay, so they just said, just say it, just tell them. Tremendous amount of stroking. <laughs> I'm gonna so get, like, demonetized for this. Um, oh, okay. You guys, this reading is going in the direction. It just is going that way. Look, what kind of cat is that, right? It's a lion, but it's a cat. You know what I'm saying? All right, for the femmes or for the masculine. You know what I mean? It's just, that's the energy. 
this is a very this feels like a very physical coming from the Virgo side and I do feel like the other person Virgo's person is yearning for that from you and is yearning for something like this with you okay but why are you guys in separation what's going on now it could be part of yesterday's reading and this is a continuum as far as something is holding two people back there's an obstacle let's see if we can get a little more clarity why are you guys in separation Things have not changed and come out into the open yet. That's really all it is at this point. Like right at this point or whenever the separation occurred, there needed to be some kind of change. Somebody needed to take the lead or take charge, take action, move forward, communicate that out in the open. Um, and I feel like perhaps that didn't happen. So there is some kind of separation happening here. We do have Leo energy and Aries is here. So there's something that when I'm asking why there was separation, there may have been a need to uh, travel, relocate, something to do with a sunny area. And perhaps that is something that just didn't occur. So there was some kind of separation. Okay. It was a wish. Somebody had a wish for something like this to happen or, um, you know, the Knight of Swords can be about like uh, somebody needs to take charge and someone didn't. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody needed to come forward, be open, communicate directly and take charge. That was what one or two people were wishing for and hoping for and it didn't happen. And then there was some kind of split or separation or break. And hmm. The message that I'm getting, like the biggest, is that there is this very strong um, physical thing that, okay, there's some mixed signals. So someone feels like they're receiving mixed signals in regard to a relationship. Someone cannot get enough of another person. Oh, and then someone is wondering who is pleasing another person. There is this... I don't know if it's a fear or if it's a turn on. Um, I feel like, okay, damn, how did I start liking you so much? Oh, this is a very um, passion. I feel like it's a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion. If you were to, if you were with this person before, which it seems like it is, it doesn't seem like somebody knew. Um, to me, somebody's yearning, the anticip anticipation is killing someone. So there's a yearning to be together and bring out the toy chest. Yo. <laughs> okay. I, um, yeah, you are someone's weakness or they are yours. That's why the yearning is here. Somebody wants to kiss you every time they see you. Whoever your person is or whoever this person is, like I said, I pretty much called out almost all the signs. You had earth, fire, air, and water. So, but there is this... I feel like there's this absence is creating this yearning. That's the big... I feel like that's going to be the title here. There's an absence... A separation that is creating this yearning and it feels like a very physical passionate kind of a yearning like more than anything I mean that's really like what is drawing two people together as far as like being in love and all that stuff I mean sure but it, this feels more like a feeling of an absence Let's see, what else do you have here? What's showing up here? What other message? Okay, there's an apology. It looks like it's going to come in for you from someone. Um, or there's going to be an apology exchange between two people. For some of you, this is a friendship. It's and strictly friends. For some, it could be a friends with benefits. But for others, it's just strictly a friendship that, that wants to be more either from your side, their side, or both of you. It wants to be more. 
<laughs> even to the point where it's an addiction. Oh my gosh. To the point where it's like a physical, passionate addiction. There's a desire to try something new. Okay. I don't know. Some of you, I feel like time apart is bringing some clarity. That's what I was saying. The absence gives people time to miss each other. But this is a destined partnership. Whatever kind of partnership, you know, uh, I'm not I'm not judging. Everybody's got their own thing. You know, some people, like I always say, everybody's got their own needs and desires. And I, I don't sit in the judge and jury to determine what's right or wrong. You have to do that for yourself, right? Um, some of you, some of you, uh, okay, they said leave it alone. Yeah, they said no. That's That was just for me. There's an energy of some regret here. Uh, someone feels some kind of remorse for perhaps the way they treated you or the way something went. And is it possible that this relationship could lead to a more sacred union? Yes. If that's what both people want. And I'm just going to say for some of you, someone didn't want that. And that was the reason for the separation. And some of you needed to release. Some of you needed to release that, okay? Some of you wanted children, and the other didn't. For some of you, that is part of this. So, all right. So they are saying again, okay? And I also heard, I heard this today, and I have to say, I totally agree. Your true love is the one you can't have. <laughs> All right, look. You've got twin flame again. True love, new love. Your true love is the one that's the struggle. You know what I mean? It's the twin flame. Some of you, you're looking for a new love in your life. This isn't going to work for you. For others, you want that recommitment. And that, that energy can play out here. A recommitment to whatever. Whatever you and this other person um, were committed to before, there's an opportunity for that to reoccur if both parties want it. So I do see, and I feel like this is just kind of a continuation from yesterday's reading and, and the Twin Flame reading on Sunday. Um, hmm. I guess this is the theme. I guess it's like a Twin Flame theme this week. I don't know, Virgo, what do you think? Leave me a comment in the chat or in the um, in the comments section. What do you think? Is this resonating? Does this Is this something you understand to be true? All right, let me take a look here and see. A couple more messages for Virgo. All right, liar in the reverse. So the truth is coming out. That's what I feel like is going on here. There's a truth that is going to come out. Anyone who lied in the past, whether it was you or another person, it's going. the truth is going to be revealed. You did have the Ace of Swords. You did have the Empress. And it may just come out that someone is going to say, I haven't been with anybody. Just talk to the hand. That's it. Just... Yep. Just talk. Just, just me and my, me and my buzzer. <laughs> I can't. <I'm> just... <laughs> I don't know. I'm snorting like an idiot. Right? It's just funny. <laughs> All right. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Okay, Virgo. I just kind of feel like. Oh yeah. Look someone else in reverse there is nobody else there is not somebody else that's what i'm hearing you're it baby you're it okay you have an earth sign so this could be a double or oh, it's a double qualifier that it's connected to it could be a taurus virgo or capricorn you have this connection with all right and then you've got that 
So I want to say this, you have intimacy in the reverse. So there is a lack of intimacy right now. Okay, but there is also the message that someone is not having in, being intimate with somebody else. However, there is a very strong sexual chem chemistry and someone is reminiscing and that was that 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 message that I received that someone is um, by the light of the moon in their dreams having visions and fantasies okay okay I should do it when I do these readings I should make them very AMSR right all right let's take a look and see what Chinese signs are here what Chinese sign, the Virgos, or their person? Chinese sign, wait, make sure I have all 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes, okay. I'm going to pull these out randomly, okay. Year of the horse. A year of the dog. A year of the goat. year of the rabbit if you don't know your Chinese sign just look up the year of your birth a year of the rat year of the dragon a year of the pig like me snorting and a year of the snake okay so, that's either you or your person, okay? All right, are there any other messages here that Virgo needs to know? You know what, you guys? Hold on a second. I feel like I want to just add on another deck here. Now, some of you have been with me for such a long time. And you're pretty well accustomed to the decks that I have used in the past. Um, for those of you that have been here for a while, I'm going to bring out a deck that I used to use last year or the year before. And we're going to mess around with this a little bit here. Okay. Do you remember? Yay. All right. Let's see what the messages are that come out of this deck. I'm just going to pull a few. Okay. Somebody plays golf first message I'm getting or has um, colored golf balls okay we have the letter uh, someone works in a hospital could be called a general hospital or maybe watches general hospital um, we also have the initials G and the initial H I'm also picking up um, somebody has a white husky and also a golden retriever. We also have the letter U and somebody was at a race or is going to a race, some kind of race, either car race, horse race or going or coming from. I also have a lot of sunflowers. I'm picking up strong sunflower energy. So you may see them or you might have them somewhere near your house or where you work. And uh, someone's two favorite colors are red and yellow. And someone has blonde hair, light color or light colored hair. Someone is also um, okay, has is African or uh, African-American or African descent. And I'm also picking up the, the name Joe or Joey or Joanne or J-O in the beginning or someone's J-O and hey, what are we going to do, right? Somebody's doing their thing. And I think we established that. All right. Let's see what else you have here, Virgo. Okay, so we have a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Libra again. Very strong energy. September 5th, someone's birthday. September 16th, also, okay, someone is 56, or born in 56, okay, we do have 
also another Virgo or a Libra. Somebody's birthday is in September. Uh, somebody used to play Tekken, the video game Tekken. Actually, it's funny because that was actually, not that this is my reading, trust me, but that was my favorite video game when I was growing up. I used to go to the arcade and play Tekken and I was really good at it. Although, well, that's my opinion. <laughs> I just heard, uh, so, okay, somebody's doing keto. Holla. Keto. Doing keto on a keto diet. Um, okay, someone's born in 89 and or nine, uh, 82. I'm just hearing. Okay, and someone's also 51. All right, so we do have the initials K. Someone's initial E. We have the, obviously the T. Oh, someone is also uh, toking. Know what I mean? No I mean? Or is a toker? Um, somebody's also playing with tokens or doing something with tokens, like a um, uh, like a winning, like winning tokens. I'm hearing, and also um, I just heard the last name Koch, K-O-C-H. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, they're just saying Koch. Okay. All right, we also have a Sagittarius showing up here. Um, August 23rd, August 29th. Someone is 47, someone is 42, and someone is 35. Okay. Oh, someone's name is Cyan. Cyan. Okay, just... Someone's born in 72. That's the year of the rat. And somebody is 53. Okay. Also the name Ian. Um, we have, so that is actually an I, but it was turned around initially. Uh, okay. I'm getting an H. Uh, Shannon or Shanna, I'm hearing. Or Shan, someone's name is Shan. And last name is Keen, or it's a, the name is Keen. I'm also picking up Sean, uh, Keanu. Um, okay, they're giving me the word not, like a K N O T, like a knot. Not in a shoelace or in hair. Uh, Knott's Berry. They're saying not, isn't that a, like a farm or something? Not very. Um, someone's from Ireland. Okay. Uh, someone likes to go hunting. Someone's a hunter. Hunting or a hunter. And is there anything else? Okay. I think we're going to go into the charms. Oh, someone hurt their knee. I just heard. They get, okay, so they said someone hurt their knee, and then there's also someone is needing bread. Not like, oh, I'm dying for some bread, but more like, you know, needing it to bake it. Okay, let's get a couple of charms. Let's see. Shows, oh. Okay, what shows up here? All right, Virgo, you've got two owls. All right, there's two people here who are very wise, very smart. No, not even smart, just very wise. You and this person, you're intellectual. You're an intellectual match, I just heard. You match each other intellectually. And there's also a connection to music. Somebody also likes the singer Pink or likes the music by Pink. Um, and then we've got pink elephant. Oh my gosh, that resonates for something, but I'm not sure. Uh, pink elephant, is that a drink? No, I don't know. They just said pink elephant. And also, I just heard, this is a strange message. Um, somebody's going to try and fix you up with someone in May. Okay. Or you and someone are going to be fixed up in some way. <laughs> And also, um, 
You have a pliers here. So you could be using a pliers or you do some crafts or you work on something with the pliers. Okay, you are giving me Disney vibes right now. Uh, a castle, Disney castle. Also have a yin yang, I mean, not a yin yang, infinity symbol. So that is significant for someone here. And there is an angel. However, immediately, they just told me somebody has, could be you or another person, has um, salt and pepper shakers that either have angels on them or they look like angels or something, something along those lines, some kind of salt and pepper shaker angel things. All right. Yeah. So I think I'm going to leave that there. I hope that you enjoyed that or you got something out of it. Very interesting reading. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to book a reading, there's a link in the description box below. Go ahead and click that. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to go on to the next reading. So uh, thank you everyone for joining. If you've recently joined my channel, I want to give you a shout out. Um, I will do that tomorrow. So come back tomorrow for tomorrow's reading and you will have your, uh, if you've recently joined my channel, you will hear your name shouted out. Okay. All right, you guys, thanks to the mods. Thanks everybody. I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right. Love you. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.